Okay, hello, let's see if this is working or not. If it's working or not, let me just do this quickly and hopefully this does. Does it hear me? I hope so. I have no clue how to use these yet. So anyway, look, uh, this is a thing I just drew. I don't know if, uh, if it's recording, but hopefully it is. Uh, basically, if you take this small triangle right here that happened last night, in uh, um, America's time zone. And uh, you look at this little triangle, and this was a little test of something that's coming that's larger. So you look at the larger picture here. Now, a lot of people get confused by all of this. Because if you look at the daily here, it's very hard to tell what the heck's going on with this unless you have experience. And I could be completely wrong, and I could be right, and I think I'm right, but I could be wrong. And it's not financial advice or anything like this. But look, here's the thing. All of these people are in here buying. Every single one of them are, are smart buyers. These aren't dumb people. And they're so smart and clever that last night they tested this little triangle consolidation to see whether or not they had the market, that they, that they had control of the market or not, right? And they had control of the market, and they took the control of the market, and just, I watched this in real time, it was just so nicely, it was just so nice, they just worked the market up. And up here... I saw myself, I don't know if you saw it or not, I saw that there was very little resistance up here. It was just a matter of, they just it just dropped. This was consolidation. This is a format of, it's called, it's called a, I think it's called a wide um, triangle. And these happened in um, 1980 with silver market. And uh, I know right now it's deviating from the from the chart, and this does this sometimes. It will. You have these formats that build up, but look at the larger picture, and these look at the larger, wider triangle. And if you look at the wider triangle here, then and think of this, uh, asking yourself whether or not all of these are actual buyers, and whether or not it's possible that they might have tested the market in real time right here. To see if they were going to be the ones that, um, what is that called? Ted Warren. He said that back in the day, he said, Duh, this is a strong hands. You got your strong hands. They tested the market in real time in front of the entire world to see whether or not they could bring it into a consolidation, the marketplace, and then quietly work it out. And they did. And from this consolidation period, it, it doubled. It more than doubled. It went up three times. If you did the math on this, I bet you probably, I don't know, about two and a half, two and a half three times. It was, it was a sizable move. And then up here, it it, um, it did fall. But this is, this is a fall that is not what's called distribution, in my opinion. This is my opinion. My opinion is they tested the market here. To see whether they had control of the market. Now, when I say they, this isn't a conspiracy theory. It does have nothing to do with it. It has to do with people trying to get the price higher. So a bunch of people get together, one group or another group, and, and they get try and get the price higher, and they, and they work together to get the price higher. And they tested a wide angle um, here, and it went right past. Now, if if this is correct, and now all of a sudden they're in a larger, larger wide angle here then we're seeing this price of this triangle. The triangle's around 7,088, somewhere like that. And we're looking at this price probably going between four and five times this price of, of 7,088. So we're looking at this price, the first jump up going to um, 0, 0, Zero two four zero zero zero. 
So from 7,000, we're going to look at the price going up to 25,000. So these buyers are going to come into this market, and then we're going to see if there's more buyers up at the 25,000 mark that, that do something else to be able to say that they want to continue the rally. And, and that's how it works. You know, this is not financial advice. I don't know if everyone says that on the video. I guess they have to say it. But I, I'm not trying to tell anybody what to do. I just like to study the charts. There's a lot of things having to do with the human emotion and all this that I've studied over the years. And so this is what it is. And if we look here at the 30, let's look at the 30. You can see here it, it's beautiful on the 30. Look at this. They, they tested a formation on the market, and the formation came through in flying colors. Then they tested. Now they're involved in the, in the larger scale. So they outscaled this, and they've got a scale going back that are going to include profiting for all these buyers and everybody else behind them, but all, all this as well. And then we're going to see this skyrocket. To, you guys call it to the moon or mooning or something like that, but it will go up. It, just like the, the silver of 1980 went up. And the silver of the 1980 went up. It did lock limit. And the lock limit means that you can't get in or out of the market. And they did lock limit, I think it was at least 12 days in a row, where you couldn't get in or out of the market. And uh, that was um, part of the whole history of trading with the uh, lock limits because sometimes the lock limits can get manipulated in the uh, international markets and the cryptocurrencies are 24 7 so they can't lock limit because uh, somebody's done really clever trading within the trading hours so um, that's part of the reason why the part of the that's part of the history of the, the evolution of cryptos or whatever you call these things so the other thing we have to ask ourselves is um is interesting is 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 uh, is Shibu gold backed because it's acting like it's really confident and there's some people that can't say something that um, there there was a rumor that there was an exchange or something about uh, they could accept sheep as payments or shibby or shibs or whatever it's called as payments for the gold now if that's true and this is a gold backed uh, cryptocurrency um we're gonna see this i mean that, that that's gonna go even further than the, the you might it, it really does justify the whole one cent thing even further and it might even go higher than that but if it's gold backed and if it's touted as the first gold backed cryptocurrency um that uh, the people actually have um small holdings of that are actually can become really larger then this is another reason you know and this is part of the reason why i want to do this video because the thing is that if a bunch of small traders get fooled like happens all the time in the commodity markets and other markets that this price action here is distribution now distribution means that that uh, there's a sell-offs but these aren't sell-offs these are accumulations the whole thing is an accumulation all the way down here so you got an accumulation, and, and don't worry about this deviation. This deviation sometimes happens in the commodity markets as well. So really take, take a look at this and consider it for yourself. Make your own decisions on whatever you're doing. But um, if you're going to go and hodl and you're going to look for an exit point, I would say the first exit point at the very, very, very soonest would be 24000 whatever it is somewhere around there it might even jet up to 32,000 and then come back down to 25,000 um, and then take a small break and then reaccumulate again and then see if it continues to run because maybe it, it is gold back maybe it's not but uh, uh, if these uh, crypt somebody's gonna eventually come up with something that's gonna realize that if they're trading Shiba right now and somewhere for gold, then uh, uh, all the gold traders have been locked out of the markets for years. It's been very difficult. Some of the gold trading has been very highly um, 
manipulated and, 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 and other things. And some of that manipulation is genuine, not manipulation, just regular trading. So um, but the prices have been suppressed in some cases. Um, a lot of people have said that over the years. So take take a look at this and, and let's look one more time. We'll look at the day chart where you really can't see uh, what's going on. If this is very difficult to see um, uh, if this is a consolidation or not. We do have one of those things called the candlesticks, and we have it past 50%, so we have the buyers that have bought back. But we also have this in such a balanced move up because there's the about the exact same – now, this is at the exact same wedge of the triangle. And we have almost the, the, what do you call it, the wick on the one side is about the same size as the wick on the middle. And it's the same size as the middle. So you've got three equal parts. That's how even this thing's going up. That's how even and how secure the actual market actually is. So if it goes up or down, this is this has been very, I mean, this is a, cons there's nothing. The, the more you look at this, the more you could see consolidation which consolidation means that one pattern goes into another pattern where everyone's consolidating for, uh, usually it's a rise up. And uh, in this case, I would, that's my opinion only, of course. But that's, that's why it's important. So take a look at this, um, and I'll put this video out now so people have it, and, uh, and hopefully that helps them. Okay? All right. Thank you.